Let's now go back to Mark in Portland for a look at what may have been the key in tonight's game, Mark. Well, Carol, it certainly was the key down the stretch. Was with me, Dick Versace. Dixie, when was the last time Michael scored a basket down the stretch? Well, you know, it was absolutely amazing. You know, we, we, we looked at the, at the point in time when he had 32 points, and, and there was over uh, 11 minutes left in the game. And I said, he's headed for a 50-point night. He never scored again. And the rest of the guys were throwing up bricks. Yeah, it was, it was amazing. Uh, Scotty Pippen, I think the foul trouble that he got in was a factor. He had to sit quite a, quite a bit. You know, Phil looked like he was a magician. He pulls Haji off the bench, and he gets a three out of him. Pax hits a three down the stretch. They get to the point where they have the potential six-point play with the fragrant. Uh, fragrant. It was fragrant, yeah. <laughs> believe me. Uh, flagrant foul. And uh, Mike, you know, went for the juggler by taking the three there. That would have made it six. It didn't hit it, so it was only three. Portland survived that. Great defense got them back in the game. Drexler really stepped it up. I mean, the guy had a schizophrenic game. I thought maybe they were going to have to bring in a mystic from the East or something <laughs> to try to, you know, solve his problems. Well, I'll tell you, Dixie, the reporters are still jammed outside. Phil Jackson has the door locked and closed. I can only imagine what he is saying right now. And the Blazers are milking this victory. Terry Porter sitting out on a director's chair in the middle of the floor being interviewed by local radio half the fans are still here cheering his every word let's jump outside to ron majors now ron